OK, how to get these things out of a graphics calculator to save using the tables. You need to know how to do it on the tables, but we're going to do it here as well. Turn one of these calculators on, go into run mode. Next thing you do is press options. OK, and we're going to go into scroll across till we see probability, which is above the F3 screen. So we go for that one. And then we go again to the right and we get this P, Q and R. And the question we've just done, where we were trying to find out phi of minus 1.273, if you're just trying to do phi of something like that, you just do the P. Then I'm going to type in my minus 1.273, and close bracket, and execute. The answer I'm hoping to get for that question is 0 0.1014. If I press execute, I get 0 0.10151. The calculator is probably a bit more accurate than the tables. So that's basically the same number. So that P on here is the area to the left. Now in the first example we did, we were looking for an area to the right. Try and get that right bit on screen, which was here. Once we had our Z number, we were doing the area to the right of 1.818. And if you clear that, and if you go in for R... R is giving the area on the right, so if I do R of 1.818 and close bracket, I get the 0 0.03 number, which is the answer I got here. It means you haven't got to worry about the 1 minus bit if you're doing it on the calculators. So the key thing is the P will give you the area to the left, R will give you the area on the right, as long as you've already converted your X numbers into Z numbers.